I want to touch on this because this was a big deal. Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn defeated Roman and Solo to retain the undisputed WWE titles. This was fantastic. Sami was so over. He delivered his his uh, promo. He cut a long promo in Arabic. He uh, just, how do you not like this man? Great story. Uh, you know, you... You, st- you you hear, you know, oh, this guy's going to make it in the business or this guy's going to be a huge star when he's, when he you know, in years. Sammy had it all. Sammy is a, a captivating wrestler. He's a great promo, great personality. And, you know, unfortunately, sometimes you look at someone, you're like, yeah, but they won't ever make him the guy. Well, you know what? He's as close to it as being the guy as possible right now. One of the hottest angles in the history of pro wrestling is this bloodline storyline especially in the modern era. He's a key player in it. And main eventing this show was a big deal. Fantastic story. Uh, Essentially what happened, the Usos came out to help Roman and Solo win. They take out, I believe they took out Kevin Owens on the table. Uh, They go in the ring. They hit Sammy with a super kick. They hit him with a second super kick. Now they go for a double super kick, bam, right into Solo's face. Solo's out, and the masterpiece of the story was that wide shot, and you see Roman peeking, and that's all he saw. He did not see anything else prior to this. He was kind of out of it when they attacked Kevin Owens. He definitely didn't see when they attacked Sami Zayn. The only piece that they saw, he saw, was Solo getting double super kicked, comes in the ring, what the hell are you guys doing? And here comes Jimmy with a super kick on Roman. Tells his brother, you should have, what do you, you know, obviously Jay screaming, what are you doing? Why are you doing this? And he says, I'm doing something that you should have done a long time ago. And bam, hits him with another one. Holy moly, what a great story. No, oh, Shakespeare, Andrew. I mean, this is... And this is what has been so great about the bloodline. You know, I'm a little kind of tired of the 20 minute entrances on SmackDown. Like the in-betweens of pay-per-views don't always kind of grab me these days with the bloodline, but that they deliver, you know, every single time on pay-per-view these days, there's something big going down. There's some kind of big takeaway or change. A lot of people I know are saying there's the end of the bloodline. I ran a headline. Jimmy Uso turns on Roman Reigns. I think that's a fair way. To, to describe here, Jimmy definitely turned on Roman. He kicked him right in the face twice. Yeah, twice. But, but I don't I don't predict this to be the end of the bloodline by any stretch. I think you accurately described what was, in a storyline perspective, a lot of fog of war, right? Yeah. You're only seeing parts of what's going on around you. You're drawing your own conclusions. Uh, I, think, I think the beginning of getting the, the band back together will start on Friday. I, I think by SummerSlam... Hope I, I I'm not predicting a big four way match between Uso Solo and Roman at SummerSlam. I think they'll be back on the same page. Yeah, I, I you know, I, you know, this is a big. Somebody asked me this question. I'm trying to. I'm I'm I'm, I'm going to research it. When is the last time WWE for the longevity of this Roman return? You know, he came back and he essentially began this transition into who he is. Right. When is the last time WWE has committed from beginning to this point this long of a storyline that has been? captivating from the beginning there really hasn't been any any bad periods in this bloodline story as far you know obviously little things happen here and there maybe it's an off week but overall they have told they have committed to telling the story for the last two years i think and this is going to sound weird uh but i think the only thing you could compare it to would be dx right like you took uh, guys like hunter and sean who were presented differently and you changed their their presentation a little bit here made them different Right, changed the tone literally of the whole product, and DX ran for years. Right, there was yeah. highs and lows. There were good spots. There were bad spots. A lot of pay per view main events. Will it fizzle out, uh, kind of slowly like DX did? It doesn't give me that vibe. But I can't think of uh, maybe that. I mean, kind of the Shield, maybe Kinda, similarly. Yeah. yeah. But I'm uh, DX is where my head floated Im- immediately.